And this is a what they call a war mural that's inside of the Capitol building in Albany. And how I mentioned at the beginning of this video about um, Nephite and Lamanite civilizations and them being descendants of the Jews, the Greeks, the Romans, I think that's basically what we're seeing right here being depicted. Um, so we've got, you know, here, which I, 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 I don't, I'm not well researched or versed enough in like what every Roman depiction means. And frankly, I don't know if really anybody is at this point, but, or, or who each one is. Cause I, I know that there's meaning to all of it, but let's just say this is the, uh, originally this, this represents like originally like the core of where everything came from. Okay. And then off of here, we start to see different branches of it and a different war being depicted. And if we look down here, we see um, what we might call an Indian, but a, a brown person with a skinned head and just a little, little bit of um, cloth covering his genitals. And then this guy over here that seems to have like a little bit more armor on and clothing. And then, you know, if we look over here, uh, it looks, you know, we got the skinned head again with just a little cloth around the waist and, you know, like a little bone type of necklace type of thing. Okay. So when you read the Book of Mormon, it talks about the Nephites and the Lamanites. The Lamanites, it describes as they turned into a brown people and they wore very little clothing, just a little bit of clothing around their waist and they had skinned heads and also talks about the Nephites and how the, you know that that was a big difference between them is the Lamanites turned brown and didn't really wear clothing and skin heads and all that sort of stuff but then the Lamanites uh, sorry the Nephites uh, were more of a people to wear armor and it'll break down very specifically like wars where the Lamanites were coming at the Nephites and then the Lamanites get scared because the Nephites were so prepared with armor and weaponry and the Lamanites were just like bare skin and skinned heads and then they like you know retreated and then made different plans to try and come back and fight again but the Book of Mormon over and over again talks about wars between the Nephites and the Lamanites and <laughs> describes them exactly like this and the book of mormon also says that the nephites and lamanites are descendants from people that were exactly like this romans greeks jews the biblical people and with that said here is uh albany new york a statue of moses and you can you know i've seen moses in, in on several of these buildings specifically right now i can think of the nebraska state capitol where Moses and, the, and his Ten Commandments on the tablets is depicted. And it's just like, again, when civilizations build something, they depict their civilization. And so that's why we see Moses and the Romans and the Greeks, because that's, that's the story. That's their civilizations. That's why there's a huge statue of Moses right here. That's why the uh, Greek goddess and Nephites and Lamanites are being depicted right here because those these are the buildings from them These are their leftovers and I'll share this real fast. It was not far from uh, It's not too far from Albany. It's in Bennington, Vermont, and it's just this crazy insane leftover rock tower obelisk whatever it would be called S Just just sitting there still completely poking up just one of the most, uh, this is honestly one of my, my favorite pieces of architecture I've seen so far. And it's just absolute craziness. Just from the distance, you can see it like, whoa, what the heck is that? 
then when you get up close, it's even it's even more mind blowing. So uh, I'll, I'll touch on that more in my Vermont videos. But like, look at this out there. Just ridiculous, and it's completely rock. There's no way that was built in any recent times. And on my drive there, this again, this isn't in Albany, but I just saw this off the side of the road, and it was kind of like kind of tucked back in there and I just caught it because it has this huge steeple on it. So cool. And uh, I mean, yeah, there was more right there that I think's gone off of the tower. I think there was a whole another steeple piece that that poked up and you can see the bells in there. Straight rock. Very, very cool. Shell rock roof. Very colorful. I mean, this building was so, so much fun to see. And they're telling us 1864. Think us a lot older. Sure looks like it. And it's sure built like it could last a lot longer. It sure looks like it could have been sitting there for a very, very long time. 